Ah. Woo, man. What's up with it? What's up with it? What's up with it? What's up with it? Man, what's up with it? What's up with it? Well, how everybody doing, man? I hope everybody doing swell. Everybody doing well, man. Yeah, man, I want to say, uh, you know, uh, it's not a beautiful day. Hoping everybody waking up with something productive on their mind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, I'm just sitting back looking at everything. And uh, I just I just ran across something. I ran across something on the internet. And the first thing that came to my mind was, the first thing that came to my mind was, what is going on? Like, what's going on, man? I mean, I just hope that everybody can be able to just, it, it's time to start waking up, growing up. It's time to start maturing. It's time to start getting to a level in our life to where we could just be regular people. We could just, <clears throat> we ain't got to, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's to that point, man. Uh. Man, it's like this, though. Man, before I keep going, make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe. It ain't about the money. It ain't about the money, homie. If you got a gift, you get paid for your gift. Uh, but at the same time, I always remember, it don't take much to take away the money. It don't take much to take away money, man. That's why they call it life and death. It don't take much to take away money. And I'm saying that to say this, right? Out of respect. I sit back and I had the opportunity to observe a lot of people. You know, have a lot of calmness about this finesse two times situation that happened. We all understand business. We all understand business. Business is business, right? But when we start taking business and everything got to be brought out in the, in, the, in the light of negativity where we got to be able to start squabbling and, and we got to start playing with some sticks. and That's where the problem come in at. That's where the problem come in at, homie. Uh, man, I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. I like to sit down and conduct business like a man. I like to sit down and conduct business like a man. But as I sit back and I'm watching this culture of hip hop, everything got to end in some type of physical contact. And it's not because of the artist, it's because of who you got around you. It's about the guys, as they say, the guys, the guys. See that what give that's the reason why we have this gang culture that's so that's that's why we had a gang culture and these groups and everybody wanna be in the group because everybody looking like, man, you need a group of people in order to be successful. You need a group of people in order to be successful. No, homie, you ain't got to, you don't need no group of people to be successful, you don't need no group of people to be tough. When you stand on business and you know you stand on business, stand on business. Come on, homie. And when you got people that's deducting business, let them conduct business, homie. Now I'm saying it from a level because my thing is just here. I know people get they, you know, people get they uh uh brownie points when it come down to uh yeah, man, he got such, oh, yeah, he got knocked out. Everybody thinking it's cool because somebody got hit and got knocked out. Man, it ain't cool because somebody got hit and got knocked out, especially when things could have been avoided. Things could have been avoided because you got to realize, man, you're going to be going into some situations where sometime, man, say, man, it ain't going to be about, it, it ain't going to be about that promoter. 
majority of promoters ain't no no guys that's in the streets promoters. So a lot of promoter guys are business guys. That's you know they just want to have the business get money. And I noticed that that you know finesse done had a lot of encounters with a lot of people, man. When it come down to them shows and the way he handled, you know. Uh, I don't know if it come from the lack of being able to correspond or it's just the lack of that. He just looking at it like, say, man, I'm too tough, man. Say, man, listen, this is what's happening. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know if penetration made him that tough. I don't know what it is. But I'm saying to myself, like, homie, calm down. Calm down. It's going to be all right, man. You supposed to be the level here with him. What's up, the cash? All right, that's a bit. All right, let's, let's sit down. And, because if you ran out the venue, you had control over everybody that worked for you. This is what we got to start being more business-minded. This is what we got to start being more leaders and realizing if this was happening, then, hey, this is how I'm going to put my people in position. If I rent out this venue, I'm going to have my people at the door right here. Uh you can have your people because you getting 10%. But everything going into this drop box, uh, this is how we going to do it. There's no need for me to grab the money if that's how we going to do it. We conducting business. We conducting business. So when I hear about the situation and I'm looking at it, I'm like, come on, man, that should have never went down like that. Because it's time to start being able to correspond without, see, when you got a bunch of people, when you got a bunch of guys around you, you're not going to think properly, homie. You're going to automatically think like macho. That's just how this game go. Ain't nobody tougher than nobody in this world, man. This world done built a lot of tough guys, man. This this world got a lot of humps in the ground because of tough guys, man. But what I'm looking at is why do we got to put these kids, these people that come and see you on New Year's to have fun, why, why their life got to be in jeopardy? Because you got guys around you. Come on, homie, let's, let's, let's start getting more mature now with it. Yeah, let's get more mature, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time to start waking up so we can start being able to get on the same. It ain't about the internet. It ain't about seeing a person in real life. Man, because at the end of the day, everybody know how to squab. Not everybody. But come on, man. It's nothing. But when we going to start thinking of ways to prevent situations, when we going to start being able to say, I agree to disagree. When we gonna start being able to say, say, man, check game. Nah, we ain't gonna do say, y'all chill. Chill. Not when the CEO jump up, you know what time it is. <laughs> man, sometimes, man, people get power or people get in a position and they feel like that's how they gotta flirt. Nah, homie, I've been having power for a long time. Trust and believe that. But I'm the guy that's going to say, hey, chill, bro. Chill. Chill. Y'all relax. Let me see what's happening. Hey, let's talk about that. What's going on? I'm going to go a million ways before anything transpire to where anybody in the crowd, me, come on, homie. Nobody want to be behind the walls. Just keep it real, man. So we got to start thinking, homie. You just got to start thinking. And let's start moving a little different, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to start moving a little different. That's all I got to say, man. But, man, I'm going to go live, man, and speak on it, man. And uh, if y'all willing to come over, sit down, you know what I'm saying, and let's talk by, like, 9.30, 10, 9.30. Uh, but say, listen, y'all, y'all hit the like button and subscribe and share, man. That's all. Listen. Hey, man, I'm just, I'm just a messenger, man. <laughs> you hear me?
So with that being said, I want everybody to have a good year of 2023. Let's start this year off right, man. Come on, man. Let's start it off right. Let's start this year off with a smile. Let's start this year off being productive. Let's start this year off with love. You hear me? Let's go, man. We believe, man. Peace, man. Let's go.